We are at a rocket manufacturer in the south of Yasaton, about an hour south, uh, kind of towards Ubon Ratatani area. And this area, this uh, place presses 100 kilogram rockets. And there is, this is the pressing tower right here. Uh, this is the first time we've had a chance to film anything on this scale. The reason they're not manufacturing at this very moment is because the power is out and they're waiting for electricity to be restored. And if it is restored, we will see some stuff. Uh, one of these complete 100 kilo rockets uh, pressed, delivered to the site, and fired costs about 12,000 Thai baht, which is the equivalent of about 400 US dollars. Uh, so, I mean, way cheaper than doing high power rocketry at home. Um, this is a 100 kilo rocket. This is pressed. You can see that because of the striations. Uh, it's been left outside to kind of dry a little bit in the sun. Uh, I don't think it's been bored yet. We're going to look around here. Pressed motors, probably not bored yet, but pressed. 100 kilo. It's like a six inch PVC drainage pipe. Milled potassium nitrate right here. And then in the next one over is unmilled potassium nitrate. You can see the giant crystals of it. So in order to mill it, we use this uh, electric milling machine. Uh, basically just has a hopper and a motor and throw chunks of potassium nitrate in there and then the milled nitrate comes out there. Still pretty coarse, by the way. I mean, we're talking milled, but it's still a fairly coarse mixture. Uh, our charcoal is made here from burning uh, twigs. We'll find out what type of wood in a moment, but that's our charcoal. So this is our charcoal milling device right here. And this helps us mill our charcoal into a fine powder. Okay, yeah, that's, that's charcoal tree. Now our finished milled charcoal is over here, stored in bags. And, uh, and that's this stuff right here. This has been milled, I believe. I gotta double check this, but I believe this is the milled charcoal. So he's just trimming off the flashing now, the excess pipe. It goes past the nozzle because it'll just melt anyway. 
เดือยเทียบไปด้วยบาดไม่ลุ่งDrill depths marked. I think we're about ready to hoist this up. It just cinches down on there and keeps from slipping. So again, this comp does not go to waste. It gets made into the little, sold to guys for 150 baht a kilo, and then gets made into the little bottle rockets you see. So what we believe this is now for is this gets basically a, a, a true black powder composition gets made with this. Um, and then that is packed in the tip, the very tip of the rocket where the red disc is. And when the fire gets up there, it basically blows. I mean, it's an ejection charge and it blows the end off and basically lets air flow through the entire tube, which then lets it float down nicely um, instead of going straight down. So basically, it, it makes it no longer aerodynamic for it to go straight down. Um, that makes a lot of sense that they use a black powder charge for that. But we've definitely confirmed they do not use sulfur in the fuel. So, not sure what this device is for, but we'll ask. Basically, this is a device for straightening the bamboo to make it fly straight. 